Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to hide the tab bar. Uh, this was something that was requested by Jason and there are generally going to be pages where you want the tab bar to be hidden for whatever reason. So what I've done is I've got a uh, got a DAP project in here where I've already dragged in uh, all the files. So I'm just going to run the current version we have. Alright, here we go. Uh, this was just a little uh, app that was created by Rochelle a little while back. So we'll just go through it. Um, you can see down here we've got our uh, tab bar, and with it you can jump between jump between the about page and the home page. So now if we go in and let's say we select companion dogs, and we then select the Australian Silky Terrier. Now you can't see it, but there's actually a more button that's been hidden by the tab bar here. Uh, now we want this page, uh, we want this page to take up the whole screen. We we really don't want the tab bar to be visible, and we just want as much real estate taken as possible, taken up as possible when the user is looking at uh, dogs. So I'm going to show you how to do this now. Now, whenever we hide a tab bar, to hide it on this page here, which is the terriers page, we actually need to do it on the page which calls it. All right. So let's say uh, Terrier's page, Basset Hound page, Beagle page, all these pages. We need to say here, just before the user calls these pages, that we want to uh, set the tab bar to be hidden. Okay. So let's just use the Terrier's page as an example. So there you go, Terrier's. Okay. So now I'm just going to close this. Now a quick little tip. Um, when DAP creates, uh, well, when DAP converts a page into code, it creates uh, a view and a view controller for each page. So we know that we want to hide the tab bar on the Terriers page. Okay. So how we're going to uh, find uh, where in the code we need to hide the tab bar? A neat little trick is you just press Command Shift F. Okay, and we know that uh, we create a view controller for each page. So what we're going to do is we'll type in Terrier's view controller and then just type in alloc. Um, alloc is when we allocate part of memory for uh, actually initializing, initializing and creating this view controller. So just click return. As you can see, it's called in one location and this is here. So we just select that location. Okay. And this is where an action is called and the Terrier's view controller here is created. Um, auto release is very important. We want to make sure we get rid of memory. I've been bitten in the bum by that before. Do not ignore it. Um, and then we go self-navigation controller, push view, blah, blah, blah. And we actually push in the view control. So this is this is where we do it. So we just, just before we push it, we just want to enter in a new line. I'm going to type in controller dot hides bottom bar when pushed equals yes. Just type in yes in all caps, and that's it. Um, now, when our uh, terrier view opens, uh, the bottom bar will be hidden, and so we'll just uh, I'll just show that to you. Okay, awesome. So companion dogs, Australian silky terrier, voila. Tab bar's gone, and we go back, it's there. It's gone, back, gone, back. All right, pretty easy. All right, so that was how to hide a tab bar. Um, see you next time, guys.